And welcome folks, welcome to the next part of Resident Evil Remake. I'm Supersonic SJM, and we're now going to bob and do a few more things on the west wing of the mansion. So. We're going to go this way. And the first thing I want to do is go in this room. This room's a famous room, folks. It's got a file in it that is well known among Resident Evil fans. The whole... Well... We'll see soon enough. I don't think I can kerosene him, so... Not ominous in the slightest, dude! Keeper's Diary. Play poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. It scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. He said there'd been an accident in the basement room. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing this damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw him. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them. The last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy. I'm sweating all the time then. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry. We eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came, ugly face, so killed him. Tasty, for itchy, tasty. Hmm. Well, hot damn. Uh, get the hell off! Oh, that. Possibly not worth uh, using my shotgun shell there. But I'll take the clip nonetheless. That's everything. That's everything. We never need venture back into that room again, folks. That's why I did that room. Because I wanted the ammo. Now, we're going to run up this way. Um, yeah, those shadows aren't even remotely ominous. Now, this puzzle. What we're going to do, we're going to take the chemical. And we're going to bob it in there. Now make sure, because you've got a choice here. You want to push it to the red. Never ever push it to the green. Because those herbs on the right will get killed off if you push it to the green. So, now that those have been killed off. We're going to have to make a few trips here folks, because there's that many herbs. 
how many have we got there? One, two, three. So we'll make two trips and uh, we'll keep one. Usually because it's a good idea to keep one. Or will we keep one? I'm not sure. Well, for now anyway, these are going to go away. Uh, I think... No, we'll keep the shotgun for now. Keep the shotgun. There's a reason. I want to use up the ammunition that's in there first. stuck on the wall, Jill. So, we'll grab a couple more herbs. Tentacles nice and dead on the floor there. The beauty of this now is we've got a massive stockpile of health, uh, which can be used for one of two things. Either one, I can combine them with red herbs and blue herbs and we'll have a nice stockpile of full heals. Or, if I'm ever in a bit of danger, I can always pick up some of the spares and heal myself up. So it's always good to have a stockpile of green herbs, as many as possible if you can. Because sadly, those... Uh, that white pot of green herbs I don't think lasts forever. There's only so many heals I can get out of it. So I'll get to the point where I'll have to use my uh, my own personal stash, as it were. So, one last trip. that one and I'll take this mask that's on the wall ladies and gentlemen death mask two, death mask two of four helps if I can talk properly so now we're done with this room Oh, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Because I totally didn't see that one coming. Never mind, eh? So. Bob that away. As you can see now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green herbs and two full heals. Well, I say full heals, two full physical heals. So we've got a, a good stockpile there. Uh, I can guarantee there will be more green and red herbs to come, but it's like I say, it's nice to have a good stockpile ready for. Well, when anything strikes, I suppose. Now then. 
I'm going to use the death mask. And then we're going to go to a balcony on the east wing. So, back this way we go. I'm still surprised those two disappeared. Right, so the one we've got is no eyes. So it should be that one. No. There we go. No eyes. Oh dear. I hope that's rust that was on the screen then. Although I've got the horrible feeling it was something else. Never mind. I'm not going to... Uh, be much of a problem to us at this moment in time. Back up this way. And we're going to go through this door here. Which also means another use for the armor key. Room have I got? Mm, yeah, that's not good. So, so far, every member of Bravo team we've come across is. Uh, Sadly perished. Although some won't stay down. Now I'm going to do something here folks that I don't like doing but to be quite honest I don't really want to come back into this room. So, but I've got a feeling I'll get bitten in the near future and to be quite honest a herb like that is going to be very handy. However, we are going to walk away with this little baby, the grenade launcher. So, now we've got that, I'm tempted to deal with one other zombie near the dining room actually yes we'll deal with that zombie and then we'll put the shotgun away So, the zombie I'm talking with, or uh, talking about even, is the one that's in this corridor. That's right, buddy. Come to daddy. Or rather, come to mama. Hurrah! I'm glad that went as planned. Dodge him. Whoa! Uh, excuse me. I think not, mate. I told you before. Don't like your ickies. 
you lot. I've seen the marks you leave behind, right? My mum won't approve. Okay. So right now, we don't need the shotgun. Just gonna go there. Oops. I didn't want to do that. I wasn't expecting it to use. Son of a bitch. Oh well, that's six more shots of my shotgun then. As long as I can take out one of those zombies that's in there. Can't believe I've just done that. Is that another one? We'll find out in a moment, I suppose. Well, maybe not actually, because I've just left the room. So now. We are going to go to where Richard is. What are we? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll go to where Richard is. Clear out some uh, some zombies in that area, shall we? I've got enough room for that. Never mind. Come here. Oh, you cheeky son of a bitch. Uh, he's dead now, isn't he? Course he is. Well, now I don't have to worry about him. Hmm. This room's a little dark. I'll have that clip though. Yes. Let's, uh, let's get a bit of light going in here. I'll take that clip as well. Nice to have such a massive surplus. And, uh, let's, let's see what's behind here. Oh, and he's dead. Nuts. Well, we need to go empty some space anyway. Let's go do that. So, just trying to think, are there any other zombies I can take out so I can put this shotgun away permanently? It's 
suppose there's one here. Oh, you're joking. Oh, for God's sake. You would do that, wouldn't you? Fan frickin' tastic. Do you know what? I might go go get the kerosene from that dog's. Right. That's one use of that door. Oh good, your head blew off. That makes me feel better. See, now it can be passive-aggressive and vent rage. Serious? I'm going all the way back here, you're going to have to come follow me. Your head can blow off, that's cool. Oh, excellent. Let's hope they, uh, let's hope that convenient position stays for me. Now this should be the last time I ever need to stay in this room. Oh, you! Get off me! Run, just get out of here, get out of here. I'm fine. High kerosene here. You son of a bitch. Well, I've got a trophy for that. Not sure what exactly for, though. But that's just wasted all that kerosene. Fan frickin' tastic! Still, this is the room that caused me to die in my last playthrough, so, uh. Good to know I don't need to worry about it again. Now I've got to be frickin' careful about going upstairs, though. The issue now is, I've got no idea where there's any more kerosene. Sorry folks, I'm a bit OCD when it comes to my inventory. Okay. Now for potential 
crimson head action. At least I hope not. That's right, you just stay there on the floor. That's good. Okay, so once we've got what we need to get from here, we never need to come back in this room again anyway. So, hopefully we will never have to deal with this crimson head. Oh, out the room would be nice, Jill. And, if I check the map, yeah, this room's complete. So, never need to worry about that room again. I think now I might take this green herb. And we're going to go to the west wing now. Since the next bit that we need to do is all over there. So, I'm going to cut across, we'll take the upstairs, we'll go down to the save room. Yeah, I'm taking the long way around, so what? Sue me. I love a nice clear room. So, put that away. To be honest, I might as well put that away. Like I said, I've got no idea where there's any more kerosene. There's no point carrying that around, it's just dead weight at this point, moment in time. Um, is there anywhere else the light is needed? Possibly not, actually. I think that's good for now. Yeah, that'll do for now. Anyway, folks, in the meantime, I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you next episode. Bye!